I'm Igor Kafetz, and this is The List Building Lifestyle, a podcast for those who want to build a large profitable email list and make six figures from anywhere in the world. If you would like to get rich by building a large email list while helping people, this podcast is for you. I also invite you to attend a free web class I'm conducting this week to find out how I built a list of 4,331,656 email subscribers at a profit. Secure your free seat at igor.cx. Attend this free workshop to discover an easy way to get 50 to 500 new email leads per day on complete autopilot without losing tons of money. Just go to igor.cx to attend this free web class. And now, once again, it's time to claim your list building lifestyle. Welcome back to another edition of the list building lifestyle with your host, Igor K. Fats. You know, I got a confession to make. I, re- I really suck at cooking. And I say it proudly because, you know, I've always considered uh, cooking not to be my highest, most important priority, even though my dad is an amazing cook and my brother, my big brother, is, I mean, he pretty much made a career out of cooking. Like, he can cook pretty much anything. I mean, be it anything uh, like a bakery or anything related to meat or fish or pretty much anything. And, you know, incidentally, I, I always attract people who are great cooks, like my best friend, Stoss. You know, he's always a, he's also an amazing cook to a point where he now started a YouTube channel where he's cooking and showing people how to, like, how to cook and you know, makes money that way as well, in addition to his primary business uh, running in Delhi. So I'm, I'm kind of thinking about it as like, wow, I, I attract people into my life who love cooking, yet I suck. I suck at cooking myself, but of course I love to eat. This got me thinking about traffic, and I don't know what you're thinking, where exactly is the parallel that you draw between traffic and food? Well, I'll explain. You see, when people go and, and they try to get traffic, Online, it's kind of like going and hunting your own food down. Like, you know what I mean? In other words, like it's it's almost never handed to you on a silver platter. It's it's mostly about going out there and setting traps and setting, you know, uh, bear traps, if you will, to quote unquote catch your prey and your best prospects, and then you know, uh, skinning them down and stripping them down and and pulling out the feathers and 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 cooking them on the fire and until they're ready to be eaten so to speak now i know i know it's kind of like an, this evil analogy but stick with me it'll make sense i promise so so one way of getting traffic the most traditional the most common way that people used to get traffic is just going out there and hunting it down which let's face it unless you're a really skilled hunter you are going to starve at least for a while so you know that that creates a big challenge for people and a lot of people quit marketing because of that. Not because they can't find the right offer to promote. Those are actually quite abundant out there. Like I'm literally being hit with 10 offers every single day from every possible direction. So there's no shortage of offers. But there is shortage of reliable traffic techniques. And there's shortage of people who are good traffic hunters, right? There's shortage of people who know what to do, how to set up their traps, where to go, um, how to properly and correctly attract the right prospects and convert them into customers. Now, that's where most people are. They either spend a lot of money uh, learning how to do that, but never set out to do it, or they spend a lot of time and money on trying to do that unsuccessfully until they run out of time and run out of money and they quit the business and go seek something else to do. And this is unfortunate because Again, as much as I would hate, like as much as I hate hunting my food down, and you know, I'm sure that if, if, if it ever was the case, if it ever were the case, if I had to go out there and hunt down my dinner, I'd literally die of, starva- of starvation really, really soon. But online, that's the, that's the fact of life. And, you know, I got better at it over time and eventually got so good at it that now I don't have to worry about it at all. Like if I wanted to get 2,000 visitors tomorrow, that's just it's it's an easy as easy for me as walking down to the nearest Walmart and grabbing some bacon. I mean that would be the most accurate analogy that I can think of of getting traffic for me today. And speaking of Walmart, it's interesting because there's another segment, another type of people that um, they want to get traffic. These people they have this frozen dinner mentality about the traffic. You know, they 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 want to get get it like half ready 
or pre-cooked so they they can just basically eat it and that's fine and that's fine so there's a second type and the third type um i'd say maybe 15 percent of, of, of the people who are trying to make money online they go and they want to get traffic in a restaurant they want to basically come in sit down do nothing get serviced get served um you know read through the menu flip through it pick the right you know meal that they want and order the meal eat the meal and leave that's how they approach their business now let me just share with you that the the last approach that I described the, the the restaurant approach is just bad it's never going to happen i assure you um the best you can expect is to is to have the frozen dinner served right the best you can expect is have a, a pre-cooked meal but what you're forgetting what most people are forgetting even when you tap into quote-unquote buyer traffic sources even when you tap into quote-unquote warm traffic sources so if you've been working with me you've probably had that experience you still need to cook the dinner you still need to bring the dinner home unpack it put it in the microwave or your stove or whatever and get it to a point where it's eatable because you can't eat a frozen dinner, right? You just break your teeth and you again, go, go to sleep starving. Yo, it's Igor. If you're loving the content, hop on over to lizbillinglifestyleshow.com for more free training and a free transcript of this episode. Oh, and I'd really appreciate if you logged into iTunes and rated the show. It really helps. Thanks. That's what people seem to forget. There's a traffic temperature. There's a cooking process. You have to cook your leads before you can eat them. And a lot of people just don't get it. A lot of people, again, they they either get stuck in the mindset of, okay, I'm going to go and hunt down my traffic on my own. Usually people who use the free traffic techniques, which never works, almost never works for most people. Very few people are able to get traffic that way and become great at it. And the ones who do rarely go out sharing how they did it, you know what I mean? Because they just uh, invest more time uh, and more money into increasing your traffic because they recognize that the more of it you've got, the more money you'll always make. And in addition, in addition, people always seek out the, the ideal outcome of just going to a traffic restaurant picking the package, whatever, picking the meal and eating. Now that is never going to happen for the simple reason that it's impossible for someone to pre-cook your traffic to a point where it's, where it's a meal. Let me put it a different way. It's impossible for anyone to sell you personally, to sell you and your services to a point where, you know, you're you're getting the end result and you're enjoying the process and it's and it's all good and done the only exception is if you can find access to a buyer traffic co-op in other words where the traffic will run and you'll only get charged anytime you get a buyer but then you get charged the premium for the buyer uh, for example if 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 the, if the person is buying say a 47 pro product you may end up paying 300 dollars for that buyer in order to pay out to the traffic sources that are being used. So there's no magic here. And this approach usually ends up costing you way more because the buyers that you generate don't have the same relationship with you as they would have if they've gone through the natural cooking cycle, right? So in other words, this meal isn't as nutritious as, as the one that you, you can cook yourself. So I would like to encourage you to get knowledgeable and get more interested in the process of not really getting the traffic, of not really going out there and hunting the traffic down, but more so about, you know, get skilled and knowledgeable about the process of buying pre-cooked dinners, pre-cooked traffic, but then bringing it to the perfect, the perfect temperature, the perfect condition, so you can actually eat it. In other words, get good at recognizing the, the spots where you can get traffic, where you can buy it. Okay, usually it will cost you money. Well, you can buy it, but you will save up so much time and so much headache and, and, and just so many resources. At the same time, recognize that it still needs to be further cooked. And so that's when you need to focus, right? Don't waste your two years of your life trying to understand traffic generation, especially if you're short on time and short on money. That, that may come later. You know, you may end up developing your own traffic strategies when you become successful. It's going to be easier for you because you're going to have cash flow coming in. You can fund all kinds of tests and experiments. But until then, get good at recognizing what's your traffic Walmart, 
Where can you go to just look at the shelves and pick your packages and then recognize that it's not a restaurant but a frozen dinner that needs to be further cooked, right? Find out where you can get the right ingredients, find out where you can get the right meals, but also remember that you're also responsible for cooking those meals and that's never going to go away, that's never going to change. Although a lot of people would hate that. I mean, I know that this is not what most people want to hear. I understand that. I mean, I sell traffic, okay? I, I, I know exactly what the, the mindset is. But I feel that I'd be doing you a big disservice if I didn't describe this process to you because, again, the worst thing that I see is people going in with the wrong mindset. They go in, they're like, yeah, I'm going to buy a thousand clicks. I'm going to make three thousand dollars. I'm going to reinvest two thousand dollars back. I'm going to put thousand dollars towards my, my car payment this month. Life is going to be great. And then they run the traffic and they don't do anything to convert it. They don't approach it with a long term mindset. They don't go through the quote unquote cooking process even if the traffic is okay, even if the traffic is warmed up and and targeted. And then, you know, uh, two months later, they're super frustrated and broke because they ran out of all of their money because they put all their eggs in one basket. They never followed up with the leads. And now, two months later, it's too late to follow up with the leads. It's too late to cook them because they're now just gone, right? Same as, you know, if you were to go and buy some fresh produce, and just put it on the counter, on your kitchen counter for like two months, it's, it's gonna go rotten. Same thing with the leads, they go rotten. Leads are exactly like the food you eat, the food you cook and the food you buy. Uh, so you need to get real about it, the, the way the world works. And so this episode, although um, quite short because there's really no more point, I mean, just to go around beating around the bush. Basically, you cook your traffic, you'll eat you don't, you'll starve. If you go hunting for your traffic, you'll probably starve because you probably suck at hunting the traffic now. And if you're expecting a traffic restaurant, you will always, always be disappointed, okay? Uh, at least at this point, the industry hasn't developed enough to supply that to you. But you go and you get the frozen dinner or the fresh produce and then you cook it and that's how you get successful if right now you're not, if right now you're not successful looking for the fastest way, that's the way you want to do it. So make sure that you're buying the right ingredients, make sure you're buying the right pre-cooked meals, but also make sure you invest 90% of the time you spend online into understanding the cooking process and learning how to take your leads from cold to hot on the uh, traffic temperature scale. So. This concludes another episode of the Liz Building Lifestyle and until next time we chat, have a good one. Thank you for tuning in to the Liz Building Lifestyle. Get access to previous episodes, the transcript of today's show and exclusive content at our website at lizbuildinglifestyleshow.com. Also, don't forget to claim your free seat at the traffic workshop I'm conducting this week where I'm showing how I built a list of 4,331,656 email subscribers without losing money and how my clients are putting anywhere from 50 to 500 new leads per day on their list at a profit without any list building experience. Just go to igor.cx to claim your free seat now.